Good morning, Spurs Point Middle School. Today is Thursday, October 5th, and it is a B-Day, and it is Bully Prevention Week. My name is Bailey. And my name is Nakira. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. You may be seated. Now, Molly, with the weather. The weather today is 83 degrees and cloudy. The 82 and partly cloudy. We would like to wish a happy birthday to Lacey S. and Dylan S. Now, Joe with a message. Today is National Do Something Nice Day. Today's lunch is pizza, cheese and pe cheese and pepperoni, chicken patty sandwich, regular spicy popcorn chicken with cornbread muffin, taco, taco salad with tortillas, rounds, sassy salsa, country corn, fiesta black beans, and mixed fruit. This week is anti-bullying week. Thanks to everybody who wore their red today. Tomorrow is purple for positivity. Sorry, no art club this week. Ms. Hall is, a, is at a department meeting. Join us at Texas Rate House on Monday, October 16th from 4 to 10 p.m. 10% 10 off purchases go to the school. Now, message from Ms. Ryan. Good morning, teachers and students. Uh, I am here to make a couple of announcements. The first announcement is for any student who is planning on trying out for the Sparrows Point Middle School basketball team. That is the girls and the boys, any girl or boy, 6th, 7th, or 8th grader who plans on trying out for the Sparrows Point basketball team. Next Wednesday, we are having an informational meeting. It will be a 15-minute meeting. We will meet in Ms. Cerritos' room, and it will be immediately after school. What room number is Ms. Cerritos? Room 230. Room 230, it's at the end of the 6th grade hall. So again, 15 minutes, 3 o'clock, we're done, so make sure you have a ride to go home. Also, any badminton players, badminton players, um, if you have not turned in your order form for your shirt, please see me or Coach Antonelli today. Thank you. Now for Kaylee and her crew. Good morning, Spurs Point Middle School. Every time you order breast cancer socks, you get a chance to win a prize. You can order through Saturday, October 16th. And remember, when you order, it's, you can you were put into a drawing, you can win a prize. And now a message from Mr. Rizzi. Good morning, 8th graders. A couple quick announcements, the same ones I made two days ago. If you're interested in working at the school store, please stop by my room and get an application. So far, I've had about four or five sixth graders stop by and ask for applications. If there's any seventh or eighth graders out there that are interested in helping me, please do so. And now it's time for everyone's favorite morning announcement and probably the highlight of their day, my quiz bowl questions. So if you were able to go four for four, or three for four, or whatever, five for five yesterday, maybe you'd be interested in Quiz Bowl. Let's find out if you have what it takes. Talking to you, Colin, I'll find you a ride home. Let me give you a couple five point questions. And again, I haven't pre-selected these, so I'm going to be guessing them as well. For those of you who don't know, when I get questions wrong at Quiz Bowl practice, I often throw chairs and tables across the room in complete and utter disgust with myself. And if you don't believe me, ask someone who's in Quiz Bowl. Fingers can easily be ripped off when I kick a chair, too, if you have your fingers in between a chair and a desk. Okay, anyhow, here we go. Here's a nice question, which I did not, I don't know the answer to. What is considered to be a perfect score on the SATs? When I was in high school, it was 1600. They changed the SAT. It is now 2400. How about that? 
All right, good question, Mr. Rizzi. How about this one right here? Since the International Astronomical Union stripped Pluto of planetary status in 2007, how many planets can now be counted in our solar system? It's a good question. Another good question. The correct answer is eight. All right. Here's another question. The Great Barrier Reef, believed to be over 3,000 years old and composed of 2,900 separate reefs, is located off the coast of which continent? That's a pretty easy question. I'm going to go with Australia, and I am correct, Australia. Okay, and let's do one more. On August 29th, 2005, what hurricane hit the U.S. Gulf Coast, killing more than 1,600 people and causing billions of dollars of flooding and damage? Correct answer, Hurricane Katrina. All right, I'll be back tomorrow morning with some more quiz bowl questions. Social studies teachers, I'll be emailing you sometime in the near future, asking you for some names of students who you think would be very competitive at quiz bowl, even though they might not want to join. I'll talk to them and make them join. So thank you. Have a good day. Good luck on your test. Study, focus, answer the questions correctly. Thank you. Now Hispanic Heritage Month fact from Hope. General Elwood P. Quesada was the first Hispanic administrator of the Federal Aviation Agency. He helped create this agency to manage the growing aviation field and growing airline safety. He served in his position from 1958 to 1961. The agency became the Federal Aviation Administration. A administrated in 1966. Now the quote of the day, you can't think of anything nice to say, you're not thinking hard enough, kid president. Now an anti-bullying video. And I'm not here. I remember how I have pride in all that you do.